Hello, Edu Panthers. We are in the last stretch of our final basic tools with Edmodo. My name is Dorian Lee Roberts, and I am your EduPath content contributor. And today we're going to be discussing gradebook and library. So at this point, you probably know the spiel, Edmodo, and why classroom teachers should use it. Students do not need an email address. It can make feedback easy and more accessible. There is an app for both Apple and Android user, a mobile app. Edmodo is a great tool to use to start getting comfortable with flipping your classroom or making it paperless. And my wonderful favorite four-letter word, it is free. That's right, free. So this is what we're going to do today and how we're going to utilize our time together. First, you're going to be able to utilize the gradebook, utilize student badges, how to use your library, and also for a little extra twist, you're going to learn how to use the Edmodo calendar. So this is going to be great. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, great. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and get started. You, If you look right where my cursor is, my mouse, there's the home page. You look here, here is the progress page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my class. And if you can just look up here, you have progress. Progress is the grade book. So let's click here. Go down to class. And I'm picking this particular class because this is one of my active class classes. So if you look here, these are all the assignments. If you go up here, you can export your assignments to an Excel spreadsheet, which is neat. What I like is I can show you how we can create assignments and it goes directly, whatever you do goes directly to the gradebook. So, and you can also do just a cold grade assignment by hand. So we'll start with that cold initial assignment by hand. So here it is, grade book. Let's say I'm going to put in journal writing. And it says create new grade. There it is, journal writing. And what I can do is I can go through and I can give each student the grade that they made. And it might not have been on class. It might not have been on Edmodo at all. Sometimes I tend to do that. So that's just to give you an example, and it's there. Let's say you want to edit this assignment. Or better yet, delete it. Well, let's try edit. So you can give it another title. You can put all the default. All points are going to be worth one. This project is going to be worth 100 points. Edit. And there it is. You can put it in. So I'm going to go and I'm going to delete it. That activity because I don't want my fifth graders to think. I did journal writing when I wasn't, I didn't let them know ahead of time. So we're going to go back to the main homepage. And I want to just show you how with assignments, which we talked about in earlier videos, you can add the assignments right to the grade book. One, two, three, four. So simple. And Right there, it's there. So I want to stroll down and show you an assignment that I gave my students. It is due on March 16th, and you see turn, it, turn in. So what I do is I click there, and you see all of my students' names. Oh, and the assignments and whether or not they have turned them in. 
you're able to see how many have turned it in, how many you have graded, and how many have been ungraded. So let's go down to one that has already been done. This is the way she turned in the assignment. And this is the grade she got. I'm able to grade it right then and there. If the project wasn't good enough, or if I want to edit it and I'm giving her tips, I hit request submission. I can edit the grade at any time. I can clear grades out and I can delete them. What I love is with a mobile de device, I can go through and I can grade every single assignment right from my mobile device. Nice tip. Sometimes on Saturdays, if I'm sitting underneath the dryer, hair dryer, get my hair done, I go right through my phone. And it's right here. And I just put the grades in. And I don't have to take a whole bunch of papers. My laptop doesn't have to be sitting at my desk. I can view everything right there. Right on my phone. Right on my mobile device. Nice little tip. Hope you enjoyed it. So now we're back at the home page. And we're going to go back in because I want to show you something else. I want to show you student badges. I love these. I think they're so cool. So you can go right here and you can do student badges. Now, as you develop and create your classes for Edmodo, Edmodo also gives teacher badges, which I think is like hilarious. One time I woke up and I had all these badges and I didn't know why. So you get a badge for completing a profile, good citizenship, good question, hard worker, homework helper, participant. Perfect attendance, star performer, student of the month. So you also get badges for completing your profile, things of that nature. And you can add a new badge. You can create one, uh, which I have, have not done. But you can create one and you can add a badge. You can also hook up with another Edmodo teacher, hopefully from your building, Try to encourage others to try something new, just like you've decided to do. And you guys can create badges, and you can swap them and add e to each other's groups and classes. So I really like that. Badges are as simple as one, two, three. I'm going to go back into my class. And see how you have grades on this side, badges on the other. I can reward students with badges. And I usually incorporate the badges with whoever gets a badge today, they get a free homework pass. They love that. You can also add badges to the group. Who can come up with the best question? Add it to this group. And there you go. The badges are an extra perk I consider with Edmodo. Like electronic stickers. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go up to library. Now, the library is as simple as apple pie. Yes, it is. It's your whole organization of your assignments, of downloading files, adding files, organizing. So here we go. I'm going to show you. One of the things that I like about the library is it can connect to your OneDrive, it, which is like your Office 360. Five, and it can also connect to your Google Drive. So what I've done over time is I have added folders. And then there are some folders that are automatically added. For instance, remember previously I taught you how to create a quiz on Edmodo. All your quizzes are filed in one folder. 
So all the quizzes that I've done this year with my class have all been in that one folder, which is good because Maybe you need a redo. Maybe you do pre and post assessments and you just want to keep the same questions to see how they do. By all means, do that. By all means, do that. Um, you click on it. It's all here. Your questions, your answers, all of it. And you can reassign it again. It's great. Let's go over to the add button. Now you can add a file and it says choose file. You can add from here where you see Google Drive. I also have my jump drive. You can add from here, you can kick, you can actually post any of these documents and place them and attach a file. You can even create a folder. Let's say you have different classes. So you can put your folder here. Uh, like I have, how about after school tutoring? I'll do grade five. And I'm going to do all subjects. Add that folder. For all the resources that I find, I can put it in this folder. And it will be underneath my quiz folder. Now we're going to go back to library. Hope that made sense. You can also pick off your Google Drive and your OneDrive. And let's see. Under Social Studies, I'm kind of shocked I have nothing. So why don't I try adding something? I'm going to add it from my, hmm, why don't I choose a file? Hmm. Let's go to Google Hand, my Google Drive. And why don't I copy the slide of the columnist and put it in here? Add file. And there it is, right under the subject social studies. Go back to the library. Click on it. Bam, it's right there. Love it, love it, love it. I can, all right, all right, all right, practice time. I showed you, now you show me. So, here's what I want you to do. Take a crack at it yourself. Do you know how to view the grade book? Can you create an assignment in the grade book? Can you give out a badge to a student? Try that as well. And can you retrieve documents from your library and attach them, put them, Try to play around, put them in different subject areas, different classes, and create an event on the calendar. Next one, very simple, last piece that I'm going to show you. Let's go over here to this calendar. Let's click on it. It's the Edmodo Planner. I love this. It helps my students with organization big time. I'm able to create anything that I put as a due date for an assignment. It automatically goes right on this calendar. And let me show you what else. Well, scoop myself right on over here. You can create a task. You can give a description of something that you want them to do that's not necessarily an assignment. Make sure you bring, I don't know, a graphic calculator to school tomorrow because we're going to be working on fractions or integers. It can give you the week and it also can give you all month. 
I absolutely love it. It's great. You can print it out. You can export it. You can work far in advance. It's absolutely great. I enjoy it so much. Let me show you one little minor trick. You can go right to the day. It can be an event or a task. You can give one day or a date range. Like, let's say you have testing for a whole week. Don't you just love testing time, people? Don't you just love it? You can create, hey. And hit create. Oh, one more thing. I got to put the recipient. So I'm going to use my class. Or I could put to all my groups. Create. There it is. Isn't that great? Isn't that so easy? Let's create a task for Friday. Be sure to bring your complete journal entry for the week. And it even shows up in a different color. Isn't it great? So when you look, when the student sees, when they log on to Edmodo, right at the right along this side is all the due dates, all the, the events and tasks in order to how it's doing, how it should be done. It is excellent. My kids live for it. And they'll say, put that on the calendar. Put that on the calendar so they can study ahead and they can be prepared ahead of time. So I really enjoy that feature as well. All right, it's that time again. Practice time. I showed you. Now you show me. So let's go over what I want you to kind of play around with today. Do you know how to view the grade book? Can you create an assignment in the grade book? And why don't you try to give out a badge to a couple of students? Can you retrieve documents from your library? And can you create an event or a task in the Edmodo calendar for your class? Hey, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. I hope not. You know, you can always hit replay, figure those little Tats out as you're working along. I want to thank you for joining me. This has been a great, great time. I'm always excited and bubbly like this. Hope I didn't get on your nerves too bad. We're going to go ahead and end out. And I thank you for joining us in Edge of Thanks so much.